Welcome to our channels English with Hassan 1 and English with Hassan 2. Hey everyone, welcome to English with Hassan 1 and 2. If you're looking to master English, you're in the right place. Whether you're starting from scratch or aiming to improve your skills, I'm here to make your journey fun, easy, and super effective. What's his favorite book? The possible answer for this question is, he adores The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. Other possible answers, I like Endgame by Samuel Beckett. She loves Hard Times by Charles Dickens. He adores The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. They like Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. We love Silas Marne by George Eliot. You adore The Secret by Rhonda Bryan or Byron. Let's go to the next slide. What's their favorite city? I chose cities from Morocco. The three cities are from Morocco and the three last cities are from Spain. I like Gerada. So Gerada is the city where I was born. It's in Morocco. We love Rabat. Rabat is the capital of Morocco. They adore Marrakesh. Marrakesh is a beautiful Moroccan city. He likes Toledo. She loves Barcelona. You adore Madrid. Let's go to the next slide. What's your favorite day of the week, of course? I like Sunday. You love Thursday. He adores Friday. She likes Tuesday. We love Monday. It's not Monday, Monday. They adore Wednesday. We don't say Wednesday, so D is silent. Wednesday. Let's repeat after me these answers. I like Sunday. You love Thursday. He adores Friday. She likes Tuesday. We love Monday. They adore Wednesday. Let's continue. What's your favorite month or what's our favorite month? The answer, we love March. But let's see other possible answers. They like January. We love March. You adore May. He likes June. I love July. She adores August. Let's repeat after me the months of the year that we like and that are our favorites. They like January. We love March. You adore May. He likes June. I love July. She adores August. Let's go to the next slide. What's their favorite fruit? The answer, they like apples. Can we say they like apple? So, if you see on the internet, they say that if you say apple or apples, where well, both of them are correct, but I prefer to use the plural form. They like apples. We love kiwis. You adore mangoes. I like pears. He loves grapes. She adores strawberries. Let's repeat after me. They like apples. We love kiwis. You adore mangoes. I like pears. He loves grapes. 
she adores strawberries so i didn't uh, say the pronunciation of the word favorite so i repeat favorite it's not favorite means that they pronounce it favorite it's favorite favorite and we can uh, it is written with you if it is Brit british english without you it's american english sometimes i write it with you sometimes without you so both of them correct what's our favorite vegetable we love carrots can we say we love carrot without s yes it's possible so both of them correct if you use it as a countable noun or uncountable noun both of them correct i like potatoes we love carrots they adore onions we don't say onion we say ah onions she likes beans you love cucumbers he adores peas let's repeat after me i like potatoes we love carrots they uh, they adore onions she likes beans you love cucumbers he adores peas let's continue what's their favorite sport they love volleyball other possible answers he likes jogging jogging is slow running she loves tennis i adore football we like cycling they love volleyball you adore swimming let's repeat after me he likes jogging she loves tennis i adore football we like cycling they love volleyball you adore swimming let's continue what's his favorite proverb <clears throat> proverb is a good sentence that has a good meaning i like look before you leap we love still waters run deep you adore beauty is only skin deep they like beauty is in the eye of the beholder she loves half a loaf is better than no bread he adores better safe than sorry so the question what's his favorite proverb the answer he adores better safe than sorry so you can write these sentences look before you leap still waters run deep beauty is only skin deep beauty is in the eye of the beholder half a loaf is better than no bread better safe than sorry you can write any of them on the internet on google and write meaning and you are going to see the meaning of these sentences they are very interesting let's continue what's your favorite subject school I adore Spanish other possible answers he likes Arabic she loves English I adore Spanish they like maths so maths or math both of them correct we love physics you adore natural science let's repeat after me all these answers he likes Arabic she loves english i adore spanish they like maths we love physics you adore natural science what's her favorite music i like arabic music we love spanish music he adores english music we like rock music i love pop music she adores country music <coughs> sorry so let's repeat after me all these answers so the question is what's her favorite music the answer is she adores country music but the other possible answers are also possible with other questions so let's see the answers only the answers i like arabic music we love spanish music spanish music he adores english music we like rock music i love rock uh, pop music she adores country music and with that we've reached the end of today's lesson if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends
Share with us in the comments what you learned or if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any new lessons. Together, we'll make learning English a fun and easy experience. I'll see you in the next video, God willing. Goodbye. As if you are studying in a private school, institute or university to learn English and most importantly for free, this is your chance, so seize this opportunity. See you inside the channel. I wish you good luck.